Welcome back, quarantine crew. Week two, Monday. We're about to kick this off right. We're gonna have a great workout. We're gonna set the tempo for the remainder of the week. All right, so a little bit different from last week, which was all body weight and a lot of high intensity training. Uh, this week, we're gonna focus on um, resistance bands or dumbbells and mini bands. All right, so we're gonna focus on more total volume per muscle group versus spreading it out like we did, okay? So make sure you have your bands, uh, mini bands, or dumbbells, okay? As we normally do, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get started with our mobility. We're gonna make sure that we're stretched out, we're loose, and we're ready to go for the workout. So uh, the first exercise that we're gonna do is called a pec minor stretch, all right? So what that's gonna look like, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go on the ground, we're gonna go face down. We're gonna go into that T position, okay? Everybody remembers that T position if you've been with us last week. And what we're gonna do, we'll start with the left arm, right? So take your left arm and raise it up. If it were a clock, raise it to about 11 o'clock, okay? Take your right arm, bring it into your chest. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our right leg, we're gonna bring it up and over the left, and you should feel a really good stretch. This is gonna be in your pec minor, so it's almost gonna feel like it's in your armpit, okay? And we're gonna do these together, I just wanted to show it first, okay? So let's get everybody on the ground and let's get in T position. We're gonna do both sides for 10 seconds each, okay? Both sides for 10 seconds each. So I'll cue it with the audio and we'll do this thing, all right? So T position, face down, hands out, legs back. Take that left hand, raise that left hand up to what would be 11 o'clock if we were on a clock, okay? Right hand comes into the chest, right leg comes up and over the left. Feel a nice good stretch. You should feel it almost in your left armpit, all right? Pec minor stretch, we're gonna hold for 10 seconds. I'll count, you stretch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, let's go back to T position. From T position, now we're gonna take the right hand. Raise the right hand up to about one o'clock, if it's a clock. Bring that left hand in. Go ahead, left leg comes up and over the right. Feel a nice good stretch on that right side. Almost like it's in your right armpit, okay? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. Everybody grab a band, everybody grab a band, okay? We're gonna do what's called a shoulder dislocate, okay? So there's a couple ways to do this, okay? So if this is the first time you've ever done this, Take your band and grab it wide, okay? So grab it wide, almost to the point where you're at the handles, okay? This is gonna be your start position. All we're gonna do, we're gonna raise the band up and over. You can get it to touch your back here, bring it back forward. That's gonna be one rep, okay? So start here with a very wide grip with a light resistance band. As you progress, you can fold your band in half now you'll use some actual tension to pull the band apart and we can do a dislocate this way, okay? So start wider, move your grip closer and if you need to, fold your band in half, okay? So everybody, everybody grab a band and let's do some of these together, okay? We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do 15 total reps, we're gonna do it together. So we'll go on my count, go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, let's go five more. 11, 12, 13, 14, last one coming here, 15. Good, go ahead and relax. Let's go ahead and let's get to the actual workout. What we're gonna do, we're gonna train Tabata style, okay? So what Tabata means is that we're gonna work for 20 seconds and then we're gonna rest for 10 seconds and we're gonna call that one round, okay? And we're gonna do 10 rounds of each exercise which will equate to five minutes, okay? So the whole idea here 
Unlike how we fatigued our entire body and got the heart rate cruising last week, this week we want to focus on pumping as much blood into the target muscle group that we're working as possible. So we're going to utilize this Tabata style where we don't count reps, we simply will work for 20 straight seconds, rest for 10, and repeat. We're going to do 10 total rounds, okay? So exercise number one is going to be a banded shoulder press, all right? So if you have bands or dumbbells, you can use either. So in order to perform the movement, what we're going to do is we're going to place the band on the ground. We're going to step on the band with both feet. We're going to raise the band so it sits on the back side of our body. From here, all we're going to do is press our arms up and lower them back to the start position, okay? We're going to do this Tabata style. So we're going to work all out for 20 seconds, rest for 10. I will be your timer. I will call it out, okay? So what you can do if you need it to be a little bit easier with the band you have, you can go one foot, all right? So press one footed to make it more difficult with that band, go both feet, and to make it even more difficult, widen the stance, okay? So that's how you can increase the amount of tension within your band. Otherwise, increase the resistance on the band as a whole, okay? So resistance bands or dumbbells. If you wanted to do it with dumbbells, it would simply look like this. Set the dumbbells, press up and down, okay? So let's go ahead, let's get set. I'll get the timer ready and we'll get into exercise number one. All right guys, so I'm gonna do it dumbbells. Alexandra's gonna do it with the resistance bands, okay? So you have a visual of both. We're gonna get started. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. crowd favorite who doesn't like a good arm day all right so we're going to go ahead we're going to do a banded bicep curl so what we're going to do is step on our band forearms facing in front of you curl the band up and back down okay remember if you want it easier one foot on if you want it harder both feet on and if you want it harder within that band get a wider stance if that's still too easy go to the next resistance up and remember, if you don't have resistance bands and you only have dumbbells, remember dumbbells can be in front of you and you can curl up. You can do this movement with dumbbells as well, okay? I'm gonna do dumbbells, Alexandra's gonna do the resistance band. Three, two, one, go. 20 on, 20 on, 20 on. As many as you can, we ain't counting. As many as you can do it at 20 seconds. Do a good work, let's go. Okay, so what that looks like is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna step on our band with both feet, 
We're gonna set the band behind the body, just like we almost set up for the uh, shoulder press. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna extend the elbow out, out and up, okay? So we're gonna extend the elbow. So we're gonna do a triceps extension. So side view, here, extend up, okay? Here, and extend up. All right, if you're someone at home who is using dumbbells, what that would look like, we would take the dumbbells, we would set them over the top of our head, we would extend up, okay? So you can still do the movement if you have dumbbells behind the head, extend up, okay? So let's go ahead, let's get set, and let's get to it. Three, two, one, let's go, 20 seconds on. Now, because we have nothing to grip, I want you to grip down on the actual band itself. 
This might be the appropriate rowing position now, okay? If you need to, you can also grab it lower. This will create more tension, okay? So if you need to, go ahead and manipulate your band that way. Finally, if you're someone who's got dumbbells, we're gonna turn that into a bent over dumbbell row. So what that would look like, feet shoulder width apart, hinge at the hips, slight knee bend. Let the arms come in front, go ahead, pull the elbows up to the chest, Lower on back down, okay? So if you got dumbbells, you can do a banded, or you can do a dumbbell row. If you got bands, let's go banded row. I'll give you guys a second, get that set up, okay? All right, guys, three, two, one, go! Remember, if you need to, grab the band lower. Grab the band lower, or widen that foot position. Both will make it more difficult, okay? Relax, round one in. We'll get tough, round one in. If you guys need to, you can double up your bands as well. You can double up your bands as well. And go. enough room to to move around especially if you're working out with somebody we're gonna go side to side bands around and walk back and forth all right so shoulder plank walks as last exercise of the day let's finish strong go button on our channel so you never miss an update and you can always join us on Instagram live where we perform the workouts live so make it train is where you can find us please share this with your friends your colleagues anybody who might be interested in some at-home workouts while we're on this um, state of lockdown and we'll see you right back here tomorrow